Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, reading a oracle data and writing into Snowflake. So <clears throat> the main topic behind uh, this video is like the, how to uh, make use of the Snowflake uh, target. Uh, <clears throat> and basically Snowflake, uh, when we talk about it's a data warehouse as an, a service a platform. So so like unlike the conventional data warehouses uh mostly it's research on premises uh, which uh, has a lot of limitation like elasticity scalability and non-supporting of semi-structure or uh, unstructured uh, data so but here in this case it will support all those and it will give a lot of flexibility and and also massive parallel processing uh, of data and concurrency issues all those things have been taken care in snowflake uh, and other interesting part is this this uh, data warehouse as service snowflake uh, sir, uh, is available uh, with the help of service provider like aws azure and cloud uh, 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 google cloud platform so these three services uh, it uses basically uh, in the background and uh, uh, and and last and final most is uh, uh, part of my um, points like uh, it is fully managed service and which implies that there is no infrastructure storage or compute or, or and it's completely maintained uh, by snowflake itself so whatever it's like a pay as you go model similar to the other cloud service provider what you see like aws azure or gcp like whatever you consume it uh, you can you are going to pay for that particular uh, resource and similar to that uh, uh, this is fully managed uh, uh, service uh, <clears throat> which means that it is uh, infrastructure storage compute uh, everything managed uh, on demand it can be a scalable uh, means like you can uh, uh, increase the compute uh, size uh, or decrease the compute size and uh, elasticity uh, uh, uh yeah and uh, as i mentioned like it's a zero maintenance charges as well okay uh because of all these reasons whatever we had dis uh, we had discussed and today we are going to discuss uh, a simple use case uh, for how to implement uh, like the chat data from oracle uh, reading it uh, and processing those data into snowflake okay so let me quickly jump into it how the snowflake login uh, test user was created uh okay so this is this is the test user i've already created so to get into snowflake and register yourself like you just simply go to google and type uh, snowflake login trial so if you type it here it will take you to the snowflake login trial here if you register all the thing uh, you can uh, get a free trial for 30 days uh, uh, and if you have uh, already an existing account you can click here um, and you can make use of it on that's it okay um yeah there you go so i already registered myself and this is what the account i'm having in front of you what you can see it here so <clears throat> and the next interesting part is see here under admin uh, you can see uh, whatever the uh, users roles defined and uh, for this particular user there is no user roles already i have defined everything uh, and warehouse this is the background uh, which warehouse it uh, belongs to uh, this is the compute engine uh, which size of uh, uh, warehouse uh, we are going to use it on the runtime we can uh, uh, define it so most commonly for demo purpose it is considered to be make use of <coughs> small size so as of now this warehouse is in suspense stage when you are uh, when you're going to run it you can simply trigger to resume it so that uh, see here so different type of uh, varo size is there so this is the computing power you can increase uh, uh, based on the computing power increase uh, the cost will differ uh, based on your data volume you can decide it even on uh, demand also you can decide all these things we are not going to discuss in detail uh, about those things for now or demo purpose let us keep it uh, this one as is uh, okay uh, yeah so let us try to run this uh, <clears throat> Uh, 
let me try to change the count okay uh, let me account admin okay okay uh, let me go to this okay let me try to read and then okay now i can resume it okay now the values is ready okay now <clears throat> if i go back here let me switch the role into user admin now if i go back to worksheet here so the table what i have defined uh see uh, in the source side i have um let me see okay uh, uh let the sql developer comes between meanwhile i will show uh, a quick example uh, like sql worksheet once you open the worksheet here see now you can see uh, the worksheet uh, as created uh, okay now you can choose the database this is the database i've created under this user called hr underscore db uh, which uh, has a role called under public roles i've created a table called employee okay now if you want to read the uh, data just simply click a uh, ho hover over there in the three dots and click place name editor okay now you can see that uh, the uh, the database dot role dot uh, the table uh, name has come now you can type select star from and run it okay but be sure that the virus has been selected and it's running so that uh, you can see the results but now see there is no uh, uh, data on it uh, because it uh, uh, it's empty uh, now if you if you want to see the definition of the table you can see uh, if when you over it uh, like <clears throat> details and definition you can see this so this is the definition what we have you can simply copy and paste it over here you can see the definition what i've created it is almost similar data type what you used to see in the uh, oracle site like number varchar okay and date fit okay um that's it this is the quick introduction about snowflake uh, registration logging and about the warehouse database everything uh, i've explained to you uh, let's get back to the oracle side now see uh let me open it okay <clears throat> now uh coming back to the next uh, next thing is like once we created the account uh, the next thing is we have to create a snowflake connection in the iacs side so for that reason i've already created um see here uh, uh these are the details you will see here uh basically <clears throat> You will uh you will uh so he will uh, see this no flag uh, um connection name and description and type you can uh, select it so before uh, selecting the uh, types snowflake data cloud ensure that that connector has been added using add-on connectors you can find it on okay and the run runtime environment you can select as usual what you, uh, your secure agent is running and the rest thing is the authentication mode standard and um, the user which I, you are already seeing here right this is the user uh, uh, in that learn user which i indicated earlier and the corresponding password and account name see here uh, if you go back here see this learn user and account name in the if you scroll it down all the way in the bottom um, see if you copy it here copy the url and paste it here so sorry uh, not this one uh, if you go to admin uh, <clears throat> this is the account identifier 
see this is the quantitative here you can identify so that you need to paste it here so uh, similarly what i uh, hovered over there so then uh, the finally if you want to mention the uh, warehouse which i have created you can mention and the role is optional okay once this is done you can save the connection uh, test the connection and save it okay so that's it um, now we are good to create uh, go uh, create a mapping under data integration go to the data integration side so okay uh, simply create a go to new and create a mapping so oracle source okay and um, here what i'm going to do is i'm going to mention um, define Okay, uh, let me do one thing, select store from employees, okay, validate, Okay, uh, source side we define and go to target side. Snowflake. Now here simple object selected. So now you can see uh, the different databases uh, from that particular user connection what we set up. So I have selected HR underscore DB database. Under that you can see the roles. Uh, that is the public role uh, which I have already mapped it. <clears throat> Once you select the role in the right hand side, you can see uh, the list of objects associated with uh, that particular database and role. Uh, for our cases like <coughs> employees table, table has been created, so which you can make use of it. See, so the table uh, we selected. Now the final thing is uh, <coughs> you can do the shield mapping. Okay so um yeah okay so that's it it's almost done now uh the mapping is valid uh this is a straightforward mapping source uh between source and target there is no transformation in between um and data type mismatch also won't be there uh, to manage with the transformation anything so i'm going to simply save it and run it that's it go to my jobs and double show that we should see uh, 107 records if you double check that select star from employees this is the source we consider so count of rows 107 records this is the oracle source count of records is there uh, like 107 we are supposed to see the those 107 records loaded in the target snowflake set okay so meanwhile uh, if you want to 
uh, open the worksheet okay and you can So the records have been successfully loaded you can see okay uh, you can see the total uh, total counts of that record also okay so if you see here <coughs> if you see this the owner seven rows have been loaded and 50 milliseconds so 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 this is this is uh, this is it friends uh, uh, this is it friends uh, uh, um, so uh, reading the data from Oracle and loading into Snowflake uh, with a quick introduction of Snowflake uh, which I explained uh, it is really useful to you please uh, uh, su subscribe my channel thanks for watching the video